With the latest from News for Jax, I'm Joy Purdy. In Duval County, the man seen on camera attacking a woman at an Arlington gas station is now charged with a felony. During his court appearance today, Kevin Williamson's misdemeanor battery charge was dropped and upgraded to that felony. This is something the victim's attorney had been asking prosecutors to do. The attack happened last month and was recorded on store surveillance video. Ramey McCoy says Williamson was ranting and raving and using racist language before hitting her. In Alachua County, a man will spend the next six years in prison after a hit-and-run crash that killed a University of Florida student from Jacksonville. Joshua Figueroa pleaded guilty to leaving the scene of the deadly crash. He hit and killed UF student Maggie Paxton in December of 2020. She was crossing a pedestrian heavy street near the university when he hit her. Her death led to a county-wide push to revamp pedestrian safety around the school. She was a Fletcher High graduate. And today is Jacksonville Sheriff Mike Williams' last day on the job. He is retiring after the controversy surrounding his move to Nassau County. A special election is planned to pick the next sheriff August 23rd, which is the same day as the Florida primary. There are six candidates. The governor appointed under Sheriff Pat Ivey to temporarily take Williams' place. He'll be sworn in tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m. in a private ceremony. You can always find the latest news on newsforjax.com. Have a great afternoon.